Hey guys, we're here at the Zero Cold War video and you can see no one's fucking here. Videos are dead. What the hell? Big tall ass. Uh, we're at the premiere of uh, Cold War. This is your first Zero video you've been a part of, correct? No. You've been a part of another one? Yeah, I had a part in Strange World. It's completely forgettable. That's that's understandable. Where did uh, the, the, the name Cold War come from? What is this a reference to? Is there a hidden meaning behind it? <laughs> I have no fucking idea, really. Where did you guys come up with that name? Um, that was before my time, actually. But fuck it, Cold War. No one else has any idea. <laughs> really? I asked Gilbert, that's the only other thing. Maybe something like in the industry, it's a Cold War, it's a struggle. I don't know, really. We were like, at war or at siege, and we weren't actually going to go to war, but we were at war with ourselves, so I don't know, I just thought it was a cool name. I also thought that that point in like the 80s was like really sick, so it's kind of like a throwback and a little bit of homage to what was going on then, punk rock and stuff that was happening around the time when Reagan was in office, so I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Reagan, big influence, Reagan. Ronald, still living. We're uh, downgrading from high definition going to standard definition video, correct? Yes. That's zero. Zero isn't HD. According to Jamie, it's VX till it's dead. Yeah, it's all VX. Is that because this is ranked as one of the ugliest teams in skateboarding? Yes. Yes, we want to we want to keep it a little blurry. Yeah, I just don't want people to see Brockman's. Like Brockman is an ugly ass dude. You know that. There's a couple ugly dudes. Uh, for the most part, yeah, I think. All right. Who's the cutest guy in the video? Why do you always ask that? I don't People want to know. <laughs> Tony Cervantes. Oh, he's cute. You he's got know. nice hair. Yeah. How long did you work on this one? I don't know. How long has this been going on? Since the last video, it's, I think it's the longest gap in between zero videos ever. It's four and a half years. for a while, so yeah. maybe last year I got serious. And when was the last trick you filmed for this thing? Like, how long ago was it? Did you get one in? On deadline on Sunday. Oh, so you were the last person to film a clip to actually get in the video? Yeah. Basically, about three months ago, I just woke up out of a daze and everyone like realized we were on deadline. Everyone was talking about wherever everyone's parts were going to go, and then everyone asked me who's, who I wanted to share a part with. And then it kind of just dawned on me that I really got to pull it together. So I just spent the last few months yeah, pretty much rolling solo. I'm, I'm thankful, though, I'm in the video. I'm thankful that my name's going to come on the screen and there's enough footage after it to be a part. Where in the timeline of the entire uh, video does your part end up? Somewhere between Josiah Gatlin and someone else. I don't know. I'm in there somewhere. Josiah Gatlin on the list? Uh, rumor had it uh, has it on the message boards and stuff that Chris Cole approached you with a street league clip to put in his part and you denied it no that's not true it's not true not true i should have it's great i would have should have should have should just filmed the whole thing there would have how many how many tricks do you have in this video uh ho hopefully one i i did film a trick for you it. did you submitted some yeah yeah do you think it'll get uh pulled like it did in welcome to hell <laughs> i hope not it might though fuck bull taco fuck bull taco yep <laughs> oh uh, jesus Adrian Lopez has really let himself go since the last video. Woo. The, the video comes out on iTunes next week, correct? Mm -hmm. If you had only 99 cents from your parents, whose part would you buy out of the list of them? Oh, you're putting me on the spot with that one. Um, friend section? I'm just kidding. Anybody's but mine. I don't fucking care. Uh, probably Nick Basarios. It's fun. It's short. It's good. That's all you really need, you know? You just watch Brass's part and get hyped and go skate. You don't want to sit in your room all day watching the video. That's the like song. saying pick one of your kids. Like you have to choose a kid. You can't do it. They're all fucking awesome. I think Tommy Guns. I'd buy Tommy Guns part. That's what Jamie said too. <laughs> Did he say that too? If I had only 99 cents, I'd go big. Guns. Everyone's saying that. Hey, hey, no. Hey, hey, no. Hey, no. No. I can't interview you in the back. <laughs> Where you at, man? Come on. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Without every person up here, Zero wouldn't be shit. Zero has never been about winning or success. It's, about, it's been about putting it on the line and taking it in the nuts for the London skateboarding. Big tall ass man. Holy fuck. Like, we thought we were going to light the neighborhood on fire, dude. Hey, my goldfish, everyone makes fun of me, but they're not bummed when I hand them a Pop-Tart or a fruit roll-up, so 